Welcome to the Wiregrass Design and Media Productions Technology Program's 2023 Summer Showcase. We're your hosts, Caleb and Michael. Starting off with our PSAs, we've touched on serious topics of suicide and hearing loss. My friends weren't aware at this moment that this would be the last moment we'd share together. Suicide is one of the leading causes of death in the United States. It was responsible for over 48,000 deaths in 2021 alone. An estimated 12.3 million adults seriously thought about suicide, 3.5 million made a plan, and 1.7 million attempted suicide. Everyone, adults, teens, and even children experience stress. Suicide is a serious public health problem that can have lasting harmful effects on individuals, families, and communities. Suicide prevention is everyone's business. You can be there. You can be the one to help a friend, a loved one, or a coworker. Contact the 988 Suicide and Crisis Life or visit us on the web at 988lifeline.org. A message brought to you in part by the CDC. What's your problem? What's your problem? I was just trying to get your attention, but your music was so loud. You can't imagine. Your book bag was open. What? I was trying to get your attention, but your music was so loud. Take a break after about an hour of listening to music and turn it down about 60%. Remember, if it hurts, there's a reason it hurts. This message is brought to you by the Hearing Health Foundation. Talk about some serious topics, Caleb. Yeah, it's a shame because I couldn't hear none of them. Probably need new speaker systems. Speakers? Good thing that the new gadget store that opened recently. They're actually our first sponsor. Our gadget store in town, we have the best gadgets around. Coming from the infinite USB storage device to the loudest surround speaker in the world. Our products are so good, you'll think they're magic. Let me show you. Using the infinite USB is easy. Just plug it up and upload away. Look at me, folks. I have, I've even got blueprints of blueprints. And this is the world's loudest speaker. You can hear it in 2D, 3D. They have even 8D once you bump it up. You can use it for parties like these. He said I'm good enough. That speaker is so loud, even your grandma could hear it. If you need any crazy illegal items, I mean legal items, then come to us before the FBI does. Man, this semester has been draining. I feel so weak I can barely lift a pencil. Well, guess what, Mike? This next sponsor could be the right thing for you. Are you weak, sad, and puny? Then try flexing it all is right for you. Consult your doctor today. Benefits include increase in energy, strength, confidence. Side effects include fits of rage, heart failure, foaming at the mouth, and even death. But who cares? You're not flexing unless you try flexing it all. Assume all responsibilities and liabilities by taking this, not FDA. The Halloween season is right around the corner, so let's take a look at our narrative short film we made this semester. The ending might just surprise you. Thank you. Hey man, I'm just calling to let you know this is gonna be your last day staying here because I, I can't deal with this filth no more, man. This has been going on too long. Bobby, I told you I was gonna clean it when I got back. Man, fun for all that. I, Cause I told you, man, it's been two weeks. It's been two weeks. I told you to get your stuff together, do all that. But look, I already got your stuff together for you. So when you get back in town, just come by and pick it up.
hell out here, man. Oh, somebody call me back this week, because I'm not going to keep doing this. Talk to him. Hey, my name is Wilbur, and I was calling to see if the room you got is still there. Oh, for sure. You asked the first person to call about the room. Sweet. So when can I come and look at the room? Man, you come right now if you're still available. That works for me. I'll be over in that way shortly. Bet. I'll see you then, man. Yeah, that's what my mama named me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. So you got a couple of jokes. I think we'll get, get along just fine, man. But uh, this is the house. I'm going to let you come inside and check it out right quick. All right? All right, man. This is this house right here. All right. This right here is the living room. Uh, you got chairs, coffee table, you know, the usual shebang. Got a couch, little TV. You know, it ain't no flat screen or anything, but, you know, you can get it done. Yeah. Uh, don't worry about the tree. Left it up for the rest of the months. All right, man, so this right here is your dining room area. Don't worry about the bread, it's a little spoiled, but you know, stuff happens. All right, uh, this right here, this is the porch area. You know, if you wanna lay back here, chill, take a little smoke. We got a pool out there if you wanna get a little wet, pause, and you know, just do what you gotta do. All right, man, this is the kitchen area right here. You know, if you ever wanna shut that up a little bit, you know, it's a little dirty right now, but you know, don't mind that. I'm gonna right. take you back to your room right quick, show you around. Sounds good. All right, man. These are the rooms right here. Matter of fact, good thing is, bathroom right across from you if you need to take a leak, a little quick one. And just you right here, man. What's the thing? That's pretty good, man. You like it? Yeah, I guess. I reckon I'll move my stuff in tonight. How about that? Hey, it sounds good to me. Matter of fact, probably yeah. forget. Hmm. We'll keep right here. All right, thanks. If you ever need me, I'm going to be in this room right here. You can get on one, two. And I'll come answer what you need. All right, I'll see you in the morning. All right, man. Caleb, wake up. Caleb, wake up! Hi, this is Sarah. I was calling to see if the room you posted in the park. Um Oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Actually, the first person you called about the room. Hey, how about you give me a call back a little bit later? I got something I got to clean up. All right, thank you. Bye.
Papi, wake up! Now for our final project, a documentary on a local tattoo shop, Urban Ink, and custom jewelry. In the beginning, when I started my business, I named it Grills on Wheels because I didn't have a location or a storefront because I would pull up on you. And that was only because I didn't have a location. So I merged these two businesses together. There you have Urban Ink Body Art and Custom Jewelry. So there were, it was a hybrid business that provided tattoos and body piercings, but also jewelry. And then through there, I expect the base to continue to grow to where now I am more of an affluent figure outside of just my local area. I think what makes us most different is the environment that we create for the artists and the clients. So older tattoo shops, you got a whole bunch of like flash and stuff on here. You don't see anybody with no pinball or arcade games, but it, it caters to a different type of, of, of client as far as a different demographic age-wise. So, you know, for kid, people who have kids and they come in and, and, and the kids see that, or even people our age, you know, we find value in playing arcade games and then the colors and the artwork and stuff like that. I think that we create an innovative and welcoming environment for the artist and the client as well. And that's what sets us apart from these other shops. I've been tattooing since I was like 14. And I started off tattooing in my house and I just happened to get so good to that I was taking too much business from local tattoo shops. So I ended up in a tattoo shop. I've been to one tattoo convention. I came out with um, two first place trophies. That was my very first tattoo convention ever. And once I did it, I was like, okay, well, I proved my point. I don't need to come back to these motherfuckers no more. So I don't really need all the trophies and stuff. I don't really care about all that. Like, as long as these people keep coming and spending their money and I keep putting dope pieces out, that's all that matters to me. So now apprentices come to the shop because they're attracted to what's going on. They have an interest for art or they're, you know, they want to be an artist or a tattoo artist. They're just looking for where they're, they fit at. Once he feels like I'm in a good space for like the drawings that I do, then I'll start doing like fake skin. And then after the fake skin, then I'll be able to start like practicing tattooing on either myself or maybe someone in the shop. First off, I was under pressure, you know what I'm saying? They put me under pressure because I was the first apprentice to actually, you know what I'm saying, make it through the apprenticeship. He came in and he was just phenomenal um, with what he did, like his progression, his willingness to learn. And he was the first apprentice that actually got licensed here. In order to have a solid tattoo, you need to have a solid outline. If you can't have a solid outline, you don't have a base to your tattoo. So the shade and everything else just going to be, you know what I'm saying, going to be out of wonder. Um, once I got in, um, it was definitely like a vibe that I felt like I wanted to stay with. Um, so we built from there. I mean, we're kind of like a big family here, so it's not like I'm coming somewhere where um, I hate everybody here and I just don't want to be around them. I also like my clients. Um, I've definitely built, built regulars, but overall it's just really funny to watch people get pierced. Like it's not a profession that has like dull moments. Well, everybody here is natural and different and kind of just mixed together, so it's good. And as far as work, it's kind of don't feel like work, <laughs> you know, it feels like I'm hanging out with my friends. What separates Urban Ink from everybody else is we're we're really a family though. Like we really are. It's cool. Like our I don't know how to explain it. Just the atmosphere is just great, you know? And this what also I like about Urban Ink is that everybody has the opportunity to invest and grow. Creating opportunities for my children, my family, the people around me. You know, that's why I do what I do. And um, even though it's hard and stressful, the fulfillment is always better.
Thank you for tuning in to our 2023 Summer Showcase. We hope you have a wonderful day. Peace.